so let's get to the point exactly guys and what i'm going to do in this video is something different i have never done it in my reviews so far in this video i'll be running linux operating system that's ubuntu 18.10 on this acer zenbook pro 15 okay and since i had only talked about only one game that's forza it got to me thinking that if forza fares this way how about the other games and won't i like to show you guys how the other games fare so here it is all you soccer fans out there fifa 2019 and pes 2019 has been tested on this laptop and i'll be also presenting a performance test of this games on this laptop there's a video clip on that so you have to keep watching till the end of the video for that hey guys this is all part of career from techie paddy so sit back and enjoy this video let's go so let us begin with the linux test of this laptop so for this i have used my usb flash drive over here it's a 16 gig usb flash drive it's a sandisk one and i have uh, flashed the ubuntu 18.10 operating system it's the linux operating system onto this flash drive if you guys want to know how to flash an operating system onto a flash drive or something i have made a video already on my channel so you guys can go and check it out in and I'll leave the video link in the description box anyways let's get to it so first of all your question arises where is the switch to switch on the bios menu all right some laptops have it on f12 f11 f9 and so on asus in every laptop provides an option which is f2 so you have to do this is you have to keep the f2 key press and switch on the power button just like that and once you switch, switch on the power button and you press f2 you will see this amazing looking bios display which appears onto the screen there are some features which i would like to highlight before that so let me just zoom this for you like you can see the storage the lcd the any pen drive battery health fan rpm temperature and so on and you have all other settings which are also there in this bios menu so we can leave that on the other side and we'll talk about them later anyways we can now go to this at a boot menu which is in the f8 so if i just touch it here it will say windows boot manager which is a samsung disk and it has the windows operating system let me just zoom this for you so you guys can have a look and yes you can see that it is written there windows boot manager you have uefa sandisk and you have another uefa sandisk partition too we have to select uefa sandisk and say enter now this will they will ask you with that whether you want to try the ubuntu without installing install ubuntu oem install and check this for defects and whatever these are this is the default option for a linux operating system any linux operating system you do like to use we are going to try the ubuntu without installing so i say enter And as you can see the Ubuntu splash screen starts along with the loading bar and or along with this loading the hard disk is also sorry not the hard disk the fan RPM is also increased so there is increasing the amount of temperature. As you can see the screen that's the desktop screen appears. Everything works so perfectly over here right now I don't know why it is just frozen so one minute okay so i think the mouse has been disabled let me press f6 now disable enable okay the mouse isn't working that screen is working so that means the mouse should work but it is not and yes you will you can see that the size of this menu bar has become small apparently usually it is around this big around this big but because it is a 4k display it is it is somewhat like that all right and now let me see whether the trackpad is working no nowhere nowhere it is working it is just touch the trackpad has disappeared i have disabled it and enabled it oh one more thing if you guys haven't noticed yet the screen pad of this laptop which i was testing for you guys does not work on linux it only works on windows because there are specific drivers for this display all right you can go to this button and you can see that there are various applications you can scroll them down you can open them system monitor you can you want to see that what display does it show so you can see 
and you can maximize it here just like this resources file systems and so on look at this so many let me just close this let's shut it down so apparently what is happening sometimes is that it it so it freezes and it is not able to respond like you can see it is not responding right now to anything what i'm doing i can't even find the trackpad over here what we are going to do to shut it down one two three go Done. so this was the linux test now let's get to the gaming test wherein i talk about the games that is pes that is pro evolution soccer and fifa and in this clips i will not be commenting anything i won't be saying anything it will just be the sound effects that is a sound from the speakers and the gameplay and it will be on charging as you know it does not perform well on battery so let's get to it With that, we come to the end of this series with the ZenBook Pro 15, and I hope you guys enjoyed both the videos as a review video as well as this video where I booted up the Linux operating system as well as the gaming performance of this laptop with FIFA 2019 and PES 2019. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel Techie Paddy, this is the first time. My name is Nolpar Gaukar and this is my channel Techie Paddy. Do subscribe. If you have any comments or any feedback, please do leave it in the comment section of this video. Please share this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video.